So I'm just going to show toss one and toss two. The first coin that's tossed could have an outcome of heads or it could have an outcome of tails. And then regardless of what the outcome was for the first toss, we could have a head, heads for the second toss or a tails for the second toss. Same thing, it, even if the first toss came out tails, we still have two probabilities for the second toss, heads and tails. And then we can write out, here's our first sample point, here's our next sample point, here's our next sample point, and our final sample point. So we can write them that way. That would make our sample space look like heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, and tails, tails. Now just so you know, I have absolutely no problem with you just coming straight to the sample space and writing it out, but I do want you to know about this um, option in case you're having trouble figuring out what goes here. And you can see as if I write it and I'm just thinking through all the possibilities, I'm thinking through this sort of thing in my head when I write out all of these outcomes in my sample space.